Okay, so what type of number is three? Well, it seems like kind of a strange question. Some of you might be saying, well, three is just a number. What do you mean? What type of number? What I'm talking about is how can we classify three with respect to the real number system? So if you're going to be taking algebra, maybe you've already taken algebra, then you should be able to answer this question. But uh, in algebra, we study something called the real number system. Okay, these are the different type of numbers that uh, make up the real number system. So we can um, classify three in a, a variety of different ways, and you need to understand all those various classifications or subset of numbers that make up the real number system. So if this is kind of bringing back some memories uh, when you took algebra, or maybe you're going to be taking algebra, stick around for a couple minutes and you'll learn something. But uh, if you know how to classify three, go ahead and describe three in terms of what type of number it is. In the comment section, of course, we'll go all, uh, over this thoroughly in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I actually like to think of myself as someone who explains math in a super clear and understandable way so anyone and everyone can learn this stuff. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out if you're having any difficulty in mathematics. If you are taking any test that has a math section on it, and almost anyone out there that is planning to go to college will be taking some sort of test um, like the following. You're going to be taking SAT or ACT or a uh, placement exam for mathematics like the Alex or AccuPlacer. Uh, if you're going back to school, like graduate school, you're going to have to take the GRE, GMAT, or maybe like the GED uh, if you don't have your high school diploma or if you want to become a teacher, teacher certification exam. Anyways, I have a large catalog of test prep courses so I can help you prepare and pass those uh, courses. If you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my homeschool middle and high school math courses. I was just voted number one by a very large uh, homeschool publication. And uh, if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, three is what type of number? And I just uh, kind of picked three as you know, no particular reason. But if that uh, happens to be your lucky number, that's awesome as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. And um, here, what we're looking at is the real number line. Okay, so this would be zero. I'll talk about this in a second. So let's uh, start off by classifying three in the most basic uh, a set of numbers that are contained or are uh, the real number system is made up of. So those would be the counting numbers. Sometimes they're called natural numbers, and uh, obviously sometimes they're called counting numbers. So what are we talking about? Counting numbers or naturally occurring numbers. Let's take my little hand here. Let me see here. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I don't want to give myself any extra fingers. But here's my uh, hand, and that word digit, when we're talking about um, counting, like how many digits does a number hand, uh, a number have, it comes with um, your fingers are actually called digits, okay? So if you're looking in nature, okay, and you're like trying to identify how many, let's say, cats you see, how many cats would you see? Well, there's one cat, maybe there's two cats, maybe there's three cats, so you can kind of count those off. So when you were counting, in a real natural sense, what we see um, in a real environment, we identify things by the counting numbers. So the counting numbers uh, start at one. Okay, so this would be one, and then two, uh, three, four. You kind of get the idea. So this is how we count, right? We start. We don't count with zero. Like I, uh, how many cats do we see? I see zero ca uh, cats. Now I'm going to talk about zero in a second. But again, we're talking about what all the numbers that. Um, uh, make up the real number system, we start off with the counting or naturally occurring numbers. So three could obviously be um, classified as a counting number or a natural number. Okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next number that we can classify three as, and that is something called the whole number system. And the whole numbers is basically the counting number or the natural numbers, but we um, have to add a very important number, and that is zero, okay? So when we add zero, these uh, numbers, okay, right here, not these numbers, these numbers right here, of course, are the counting or natural numbers, but these numbers right here, let me move this down so we've got some room here. 
these numbers right here are the whole numbers. Okay, so these are the whole numbers because we need zero. All right, so let's think about it. If someone asks you a question, hey, how many cats are there? Do, how many, you know, in your backyard? Well, you know, if we can't count any, we need a way to express there are no cats, for example. So we need zero. So zero, very, very important number in mathematics uh, in terms of a discovery of it. So zero plus the counting or natural numbers makes up the whole numbers. So three would be um, uh, part of the whole numbers, okay, along with the counting and natural numbers. All right, so let's uh, talk about the next set of numbers that three is, or three is a part of, and that is described by this little um, uh uh, letter here, I, a capital I. So what do you think that is? Okay, hopefully some of you are saying, oh, is that the integers? Is that the integers? And if you said integers, you would be absolutely correct. So what are the integers? Well, we need some negative numbers over here, like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now, the whole concept of negative numbers is very important in mathematics. Let's kind of think of it real quick as, let's say this is the ground, and here is like a little tree right here. So let's say that tree is 100 feet tall, and this is the ground level, which would be zero, but let's say you have, um, kind of dig a hole down there, and it is 20 feet beneath the ground. Well, how can we express that mathematically? Well, that would be, a, would be like a negative 20 feet in terms of distance here with respect to the ground level being zero. So people kind of um, figured out that there is um, an absolute need for negative numbers. So uh, when we take the negative whole numbers, we have the whole numbers, uh, the integers are basically, let me just say this in a better way, are the whole numbers and the negative whole numbers. So we're basically taking all these numbers and the negative of the positive whole numbers, so this would be like the negative whole numbers, all of these numbers right here, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course, these are decreasing. These are increasing. All those numbers are the integers. Okay, so 3 uh, would, of course, be part of the set of integers, which make up the real number system. All right, so we have one more to go. And uh, you see here I have a Q, and I'm not quite sure, uh, probably... Uh, don't remember at this moment of time why the Q represents something called the rational number system, okay? And uh, three is also a rational number. Okay, so, but we, first of all, you know, we need to kind of look at three in a different way. So let's suppose I want to think of three as a fraction. Well, you can represent any number as a fraction. Let's represent three as a fraction right now by just putting it over one. So 3 divided by 1, of course, is 3. But if I wanted to explicitly look at it as a uh, fraction, I could th think of 3 as a fraction as 3 over 1. Okay, so rational numbers are effectively fractions. That's what they are. But they're fractions. I'm going to write this here. Such that the numerator and the denominator of these respective fractions, okay, are made up of integers. So I can, as long as I can take any integer on this whole real number line and make construct a numerator and denominator out of it, I have what we call a rational number. Now, three again by itself, you may not think of it as a fraction, but it, you can write it as a fraction. I can write it as three over one. So three and one are, of course, part of the integers. Uh, so three uh, could be classified as a rational number. So yeah, numbers like, for example, 20 over negative uh, uh, 113, for example, would be considered a rational number. It's any number that can be expressed as a fraction of integers. So you'll learn more about uh, the technical things about all these numbers and rational numbers and look at examples of what are rational numbers and then what are uh, not rational numbers. We call those irrational numbers, but that's whole, uh, for another conversation. So uh, hopefully, okay, you got some of these right. If you said whole numbers or integers, that's excellent. But again, when you're thinking about the entire real number system, we got to start with those counting numbers or those natural, uh, naturally occurring numbers, then the whole numbers, then the integers, then the rational numbers, and then the irrational numbers. And this whole set of numbers is what we call the real number system. Now, some of you might be thinking to yourself, well, wow, okay, that's all the numbers I'm ever going to need to know or use 
in mathematics, well, unfortunately, you would be cor uh, incorrect. Um, as you get more advanced in mathematics, we need um, to get into another number system that's called the complex number system. And that'll be for another day, another discussion. But you'll definitely be using complex numbers if you continue on uh, studying algebra. But if you got this all right, if you're like, I aced this, I knew all this, well, then I must go ahead and give you a good old 1983. I don't know how many around in 1983, but that was a good year. A lot of good music came out that year. Uh, flat top haircut and a 100%. So outstanding. Good job. Now, I will say this. If you were like totally lost and you didn't know anything about this, well, hey, you know, the whole point of me making these videos is to teach you something. But you do need to know how to classify various numbers and you need to know the subsets of numbers that make up the real number system. All right, so if this video helps you out in some small, tiny way, please consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all my content. I make it for you, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.